Okay, I am going to stop. Okay, so uh, we'll wait just like five minutes, right? And then we'll start. Just five minutes. I want others also to join. Then I'll take questions from the top. Okay, first of all, am I audible at all? Uh, is there any voice issue or anything? I think I'm, yeah, okay. Thank you, Zadi, for confirmation. Okay, we'll just start in two minutes, okay? I'm waiting more people to join, and then uh, I mean, we can start. Okay, one more minute and then we'll start. Take a start if we have any questions. I mean, it's, it's better as as early if I answer all of the questions. Okay, take it. So let's start with that. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry for that. I'm seriously sorry. Okay. So uh, first of all, let's start the way I start. Okay. Hello guys, this is code in code, and this is the AMA session. So here you can ask anything. Koi question bhi ho aapka. I mean any question, I'll try to answer. Okay. So question I'll take from the top as I'll try to take as many questions as possible. Of course, we have a time limit of like one hour. So we'll try to cover as many questions as possible in that one hour window. Okay. So shuru kar den, over there. So Sunil Kumar, I've got a question from Sunil. Uh, is competitive programming necessary? The answer is absolutely no. Competitive programming is not necessary, but if you want to advance in your you know, career, then it is. See, what is it? In most of the companies, doesn't matter whether it's Google, Amazon, or any company that you take, right, or any company, now at least they will have a problem that for uh, they require for you to solve, like competitive programming. It's like algorithm data structure problem. You have competitive programming karo, and if you are not doing that, lead code pay, lead code pay, you can go ahead and code, solve the question. The thing is, those questions also require you to have the knowledge of algorithms and data structure that you you know learn during competitive programming. So yes, even though it is not directly necessary, but indirectly, so many um, you know interviews have direct dependency on problem solving that it becomes indirectly necessary so unfortunately the answer is yes computer programming is necessary 
if you want to go to a good company like Amazon, Google, any company, in fact, they'll ask you at least two, three questions to solve, you know, using uh, algorithms and data structure. If you are doing competitive programming, that will help a lot. All questions like that. Hmm. Ash Ketchum is asking, how are you, buddy? I'm fine. And congratulations, Ash, for becoming the world champion, right? Okay, how are you looking? Google SI. Uh, how are you liking? Google? I mean, it's good. I mean, the work that I've been uh, I'm working on, that's good. Uh, Work-life balance, not as much, but the work that I'm getting is good. So, Linus score. How to know if I know the concept behind the lead code question as I as I uh, when I'm unable to solve question, then I think I don't know the concept. I mean, the way you know that uh, concept, you know or not. I mean, first of all, try to solve the question yourself. If you, if you are able to solve the problem yourself, that means, of course, you know. Otherwise, if you are not, even if you have solved the problem, I would advise you to, you know, uh, look at some, go to the discussion tab and have a look at two, three problems. I mean, two, three solutions. If they are different than yours, then you'll learn something new. Otherwise, that's fine. And if you don't, if you are not able to solve, of course, you are missing something. There are two things. First, when you are not able to solve a problem, there are two things. Either, even though we know the concept, we are not able to solve. That is the one part. Like we were not able to just apply the concept in this certain way. If you are not able to do that, if you already know the concept, but you are not able to apply that here, what you can do, you can solve this problem by looking at the solution or the editorial or the in the discussions tab, there are so many people that help. Once you are able to learn that new thing, what happens next time, even if you see a problem, even slightly similar to that, you'll be able to apply the algorithm in a similar way, right? And of course, even after looking at the solution, the concept you didn't knew, of course, now you know that, okay, this is the part where I was missing. Now I can learn it, right? Rahul, I push, got question from Rahul. What are the technologies, languages, framework you know? Lang as far as languages are concerned, I think uh, C++, Java, Python, TypeScript. Hmm. HTML, CSS, I'm not counting, okay? Only programming languages. Uh, C++, Java, Python, TypeScript. Okay, these, I'll go with these. JavaScript, a little bit, I don't use them. I've used Python and Java and C++ uh, in development. For framework, uh, Spring Boot, I would say. I work on Spring Boot framework for like one and a, one and a half year. So that's there. And then we have internal frameworks in Google, okay? Okay, uh, Geek Curry, good. got a question from Geek Curry. How to improve uh, green technology and random array problems that help pass online routes? Okay, greedy. Huh. Actually, that is a good question got from Geek Curry. See, the thing about uh, greedy algorithms is that I am, I also struggle at those algorithms, okay? Those problems. So what I did, I, what I do when I don't know any concept, I I try to find a good article at some place. One of the places that I look for is CP algorithm and code forces articles. So I did uh, some research on, I tried to find some articles on code forces and what did I find? There was a guy like, uh, I, I guess it was uh, orange, his rating was orange or uh, above that, I'm not 100% sure. So that person, uh, said that uh, the best way to learn 3D algorithm is to solve as many problems as, uh, as you can. And uh, how it helps is that when you're going to solve a problem, so most of the time, like seven out of 10 times, what happens is that that person, how he solves the greedy algorithm problem is that uh, most of the times he have solved previously very similar problem to that. If you see in greedy algorithm, we don't have many algorithms like, like, uh, uh, like DB, right? We don't have different concept. In greedy algorithm, the different variety of problems, as many as you can, just try to practice it. And then you'll be able to solve. That is that is the best way I know. Even I, 
greedy is the only part where even I struggle, right? Deeply, I can understand that what is the point where I was missing. But understanding greedy algorithm, even for me, is a challenging. So the best advice I can give is that try to cover as many different kinds of problem of greedy algorithm as you can. And again, in if you are not able to solve a problem in competitive programming live contest, just do the upsolving. Very important thing. Okay, so DPC crowd. <laughs> This is the name of the person who just posted a comment. Uh, say code forces karte. Okay. The question is, uh, say code forces karte were topics clear nahi ho pate. Which is apne kaise? Oh, okay. Which is mene kaise manage kiya tha? Like code forces me ABC sif ad hoc hota hai. Mostly ha. Absolutely right. ABC mostly ad hoc hota hai. Hmm. I'm not sure about C. A, B, pakka. Yeah, at all, but not 100% sure. Uh, can't say the same for C. So how we see, how we cover different concepts. Uh, when I was studying, when I was studying all these things, so my main focus was not on the programming, pe nahi tha. I mean, contest. Pe nahi tha. So I had like a list of things that I had to learn. Like, if I DP, I made a DP, make list that I had to learn this. How did I do that? I did concept start I did some research that I'm going to start this. So let's do some research. What what concepts are there? Okay. So for that, again, I would look see uh, do a simple Google search. Yeah, fair. I'd look on articles uh, present on Code Forces. Code Forces has so many great articles. Like I have absolutely uh, uh centroid decomposition from there, Mobius inversion from there. So so many articles they have there. So when you are going to learn anything, just do a code forces search. Yeah, Google search. At least make a list of topics that you are going to cover and then do that. I mean, participating in a contest is a separate thing. Learning is a separate thing, right? So have a list of uh, concepts that you want to access that. So just make a list like this month, I'm going to learn number theory and, uh, <coughs> sorry, number theory and gra graph algorithm. So list of algorithm is already present on codeforces.com. So you can, sorry, my bad. Uh, yeah, codeforces also has it. Besides that, CP algorithm already have a, you know, curated list of algorithms. So just go there, at least make your own list from there and other resources. And then you just, just keep learning at least one or two different things, right? Be it algorithm, data structure, or a technique. Uh, just, just learn one or two techniques or algorithm per week. I mean, this should be a good target. This way, you know, you're studying and participating in contests, both will, uh, you'll be able to manage. Okay, one question for Google. <clears throat> uh, I'm extremely sorry if I'm not able to pronounce your name correctly. Himadri Nath. If I didn't pronounce it correctly, please uh, correct me. So Google resume shortlist time computer programming is necessary or project. Uh, what happens See, if you're going for SD1 or SD2? That is L3 to L4. So you have to go through at least three to four rounds of problem solving, right? So they will ask competitive uh, say calling them competitive programming call, uh, problems is wrong. So they will ask, at, you will have at least three to four rounds, each round 45 minutes. And in each round, you'll be given a question that you have to solve. Okay. So project to Pahle you have to go through these rounds. Then they will come to the project. Okay. And then there is a uh, Googliness round and uh, uh, of course, HR round. So first thing is at least three to four rounds of problem solved. Project baad mein. I think in HR round, they are HR round. They ask about your previous experience and the work that you have done. Okay. Uh, Spandan, please tell, uh, teach greedy algorithm from scratch. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think I'll do that. Because greedy algorithm, if I'm preparing to teach you guys, I go in as depth and detail as possible, right? And in doing so, I just improve myself as well. So uh, since greedy is also my weak part, so maybe I'll do that. Okay. Uh, Linus again. What are the resources that I've used? Resources that I've used. I'll. I'll... Okay. Uh, in the I'll add the same in the description, okay, of this stream. So just to tell you, cplgorithm.com, 
there are so many articles present on code courses. So these two are my primary uh, places where I look for uh, learning algorithms and, and data structure. If I'm not able to find anywhere that thing, the last resource, uh, uh, resort is to go to GFG, okay, the last. But my primary resources are CP algorithm and code courses are, they are, they are the best, okay. One of my friend also joined it. Okay, hello, sweetie, and SP. Okay, there are so many questions. Okay. SPDKS comments, uh, hello, sir, I like you very much. You are it. Oh, thank you. And I like you all, right? Of course, because it's mutual. Teaching you gets me uh, to a next level of the same thing as well, right? So for that, I do a lot of research. In doing so, I raise my level again, right? So it's not like uh, only you are learning from me. I'm learning from my students as well. Ash Ketchum again, how is work-life balance in Google? I was thinking it will be a bit better, but it's not as, I mean, not as good as my expectations were. A bit hard, if I say. I mean, it, from the time I joined Google, my work-life balance, so you can understand, like, I won't talk much about it, but my expectation is not here. So, uh, Shivanshu Mishra, I don't have CP culture in my college. What can I do? I studied from a, a government college, GV Pan Engineering College, Delhi. CP culture. Culture so it's not like ki if you don't have culture or you don't have uh, a, a club for that, you can't excel at that. You can take it as a challenge, uh, take it as a challenge on yourself, Shivanshu, ki main karunga computer programming, certain level pe pahunga, and may start karunga ye culture. Okay. This is it, it will be a great challenge for you. This way you will not only just you you will you'll have multiple reasons, multiple motivations to work for, right? So take it as a challenge and just show the others that what you can achieve from computer programming. Good luck with that also. Um, Ayush Kumar says, Acha bhaiya, if will I get a referral if I have been doing and practicing CP for long but don't have very high rating? Okay, let's see. See, very high rating that depend uh, even if you have like above average rating you will get uh, you will get a uh, referral don't worry i have given referral to many people one of which is also selected one of one of the students is selected for uh, for an internship right so it's not like you won't get it just make sure your rating is above average like 1700 on code forces is is good okay Sanjay Kumar, other than DSN system design, do we also require to master some technologies? If you're asking this for getting job at companies uh, like uh, Mang or Fang companies, as people say, not really. Uh, they mostly focus on uh, the interview is focused and rotates around, revolves around the uh, problem solving part. Okay, So they don't expect you to have uh, knowledge of uh, other technologies, like they are not that much interested. But if you have, that is a plus point. Okay, it's not necessary, but it's good to have. How to learn DSA practically? Does you learn DSA practically by first of all learn DSA? That is a, a different thing, and then you apply it by solving problems in computer programming contests like code courses or add coder or lead code. Yeah. Okay? And does Google ask system design question that depends which level you are going for for SD1 and 2? I don't think they ask. For SD1, I'm 100% sure they don't ask. And I have talked to my uh, colleagues, my seniors. Do they ask the uh, system design question for higher levels for like SD2? The answer is no. 
at least that what my seniors told me. So yeah. Okay. Okay. So DPC crown again. Uh, research करने की जरूरत नहीं है playlist हाँ <laughs> exactly. So that's the whole reason I created different playlist on on my channel कि you don't have to search a lot ठीक है the way I have built my playlist is this कि कौन सा पढ़ाना है दो तीन and then I'll I'll show you uh, I'll uh, go to the problem solving so that you don't just feel कि हाँ बस चल ही रहा है पढ़े ही जा रहे हैं we are not doing something we are not implementing it so once we learn that concept next thing is we are solving a problem at least one or two okay so they are the way i have curated the list of different different courses is this key now concept then problem solving and the concepts are again arranged in um non-decreasing order or you can say increasing order of the difficulty okay so you can take a reference from my courses also or my suggestion would be to use uh, code courses articles Linus code. How much years will it take to be in MNC like Google for a loop? Focus on community, I mean, focus on problem solving. DSN algorithm, just do that, lead, uh, solve some uh, practice, uh, lead code problems, and then you will be able to get job at Google. Like four rounds, and let me tell you the level of problem that I faced, right? They asked DP question, they asked uh, uh, graph algorithm problems, right? And mm, the level of the problems, of course, the string problems was also there. Number theory, string algorithm, graph algorithm, and DP. Which are concepts. Hai. And the level was not beyond easy medium. Okay? Hardly medium level question. Okay. So if I translate the same to code forces uh, div2 problems, it would hardly translate to problem C. Problem C tak jate hai, usse higher level nahi tha. Believe me, usse higher level nahi tha questions ka. So, just current thing, so up TP with bit masking pay series lobby. Yes, I'm working on that. Actually, it's made a lot of research for TP because two things first, competitive programming made it short. When I started the job, I'm finding it very difficult to find time to learn. Okay, so I'm doing that. So, it's really made per day my time. Like that. And uh, bit masking DP is such a concept that it's made a lot of effort. The more difficult, the higher is the level of the concept that I'm going to teach, the more I have to do research. Because I have to do a lot of basic level. Pe ke hai. And to do that, I have to solve a lot of problems so that I can understand pain points. Where are students have problems? It takes a lot of time. Lagta hai. And I, my level for uh, bit masking DP is also not that good. Like I'm, I'm above medium level, but which level I should be I don't think I am. So I'm just solving some problems right, and doing my own research. I'm studying that, solving problems so that I feel confident enough that I'm studying quality content. Hoga. I just don't want to go into the lecture, kahi se article and then usse translate kar diya video mein. I, I don't do that and I don't want to do that. So usme thoda sa time dayega, but for sure, wo series aayegi. Okay, sweetie. Sweetie Parveen. Oh, okay, so your way of explaining thing is too nice. Keep it up. Thank you. Word of encouragement from my student and also my friend. Yeah. Uh, clever trader. Yeah, please make videos, roadmap type videos, how to study or kiss type ki problems karne chahiye. I have seen so many road, roadmap videos. Mujhe hamesha se ye lagta tha ki ye utne informative nahi hote hain, isliye mujhe nahi karna chahiye. Mujhe hamesha aisa lagta tha ki roadmap videos log bana dete hain ki uh, they'll get views. I never found any reason to make it. Thikha? I'll I'll conduct a poll on either LinkedIn or my uh, Insta, Insta channel. Thikha? If I find that ha, student actually need it, so yeah, sure, I'll I'll do that. Okay, uh, but if people are good, if students are good without the need of roadmap videos, we'll move on. Because I just see people make roadmap videos just to get views, and unless and until I feel that ha, maybe videos students ko kuch na kuch fayda hoga, I just find it very difficult to work on that. 
सो आई आई कंडक्ट अ पोल ठीक है इफ आई गेट इनफ रिस्पॉन्सेस दैट ये स्टूडेंट नीडेड आई फॉर श्योर गो विद गो फॉर दैट एस पी डी के एस सर नाम बता दी थी अब आप रेफरल चाहिए थी यू कैन यू कैन कॉन्टेक्ट मी ऑन लिंकड इन वहां पर मैं ये सारी बातें करता हूँ लाइक जस्ट शेयर मे आर रिज्यूम ऑन लिंकड इन राइट एंड देन आई गो थ्रू इट एंड मेक श्योर टू यू नो अटैच योर योर कॉम्पिटेटिव प्रोग्रामिंग प्रोफाइल ऑफ लिंक्स जस्ट एड लिंक्स है या फिर अचीवमेंट इफ यू हैव एन सो जस्ट आई नीड टू गो थ्रू योर प्रोफाइल सो दैट आई नो कि हाँ द प्रॉब्लम देर थी आस यू विल बी एबल टू गो थ्रू दैट If you can convince a person जिससे आप रेफरल मांग रहे हो अगर आप उसको कन्फर्म करा सकते हो इफ यू कैन कन्विंस दैट गाय की येस आई बी एबल टू सॉल्व दैट प्रॉब्लम ठीक है विच विल बी आस इन द इंटरव्यू इफ यू कैन डू दैट नो वन इज गोइंग टू यू नो डिनाई यू कि नहीं नहीं देना रेफरल ऐसा नहीं होता कि जेब से जा रहा है कुछ हमारे नो अगर आप सिलेक्ट होते हो तो ऑफकोर्स दे आर रिवॉर्डेड राइट सो इफ यू आर एबल टू कन्विंस द गाय और द पर्सन जिससे आप रेफरल मांगने जा रहा हूं दे वोट डिनाई इट जो शो दैट यू आर गुड एट प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग एंड देल रेफर यू सिंपल बिलीव मी आई हैव माई स्टूडेंट ऑल्सो माई फ्रेंड हियर इन द सेम इन द सेम बिल्डिंग देर गाय जस्ट जस्ट इज सो रेडी टू गिव रेफर टू एनी वन फॉर फॉर फोन पे ठीक है फॉर एस डी वन और टू इफ यू हैव गुड कोडिंग प्रोफाइल so i have so many people who can help just make sure you have good coding profile i can uh, arrange uh, referrals no issues to message recruiter is the best option sir or ask referral in company employees which is good dono i mean better is to uh, message recruiter that is better way but dono hi karo why are you wasting time like dono ko kar do and just make sure you convince them ki ha i am good at solving problem so i'll be able to go through all of the rounds recruiter ko paise milte hain is cheez ke so they are looking for candidates who can go through all of the rounds right so just message them and the employees both don't look for better just i mean better is a uh, messaging recruiter but again dono ko kar do what is the problem with that ha na हर्षवर्धन क्वेश्चन हाउ डज सी पी गो विद मशीन लर्निंग नवर लर्न लाइक दल्गोरिजम्स ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग बट लेट मी टेल यू वन थिंग वेन यू डू कंटिन्यू प्रोग्रामिंग यू हैव लर्न सो मेनी थिंग सो मेनी एल्गोरिजम्स लाइक टफ एल्गोरिजम्स इफ यू एक्चुअली हैव गॉन टू दैट लेवल और इवन इफ यू आर जस्ट वेरी यू नो वेरी कंसिस्टेंट विथ सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम एंड लर्निंग न्यू थिंग्स मशीन लर्निंग again you need to learn algorithm implement that right so learning new thing becomes very easy that that is one thing that i'll be talking in the future like how front end development back end development yeah software end development in general how much it becomes it, it seems so easy when you are used to competitive programming it becomes so easy aisa lagta hai ki yaar competitive programming is level pe hai and then we are coding is level ka anudeep nikandi i believe unhone bhi same baat kahi thi when he had a session on with hacker earth ki the question that they ask in interview is like this level and job that you do is this level and i yeah that's absolutely true your difference hota hai question ask and the 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 work that you do same same way when you do competitive programming learning anything becomes very like you feel like ki ye to utna tough hai nahi jitna main karta raha right so even though again not direct influence but itni aadat ban jati hai the things become very easy Okay, so many questions here. Okay, एक क्वेश्चन है जो काफी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन लगा ठीक है और मेरे मेरे फ्रेंड की भी यही की भी यही प्रॉब्लम थी भैया न्यूबी से बाहर नहीं आ पा रहा हूँ क्या I have a friend who's like वो उसी लेवल पे था and he has he has been doing so many contests and still वो न्यूबी से ऊपर जाता है थोड़ा सा and then again right so the problem is that ki you're not i i'm not discouraging i mean discouraging you but focus jab aapke sath aisa ho raha hai to focus shift karo contest se thoda sa learning ke zara theek hai make sure ki jo basic algorithm hai wo aapko implement karne aane basic matlab 
DFS, BFS, ये basic में आते हैं. DFS, BFS और basic number theory, basic greedy algorithm and basic DP. Basic DP मतलब 1D और 2D DP. वो basic हो गई. तो ये चीज़ at least आपको आ रहे हैं. और disjoint set implement करना आ रहा है. बहुत, बहुत easy है. Like disjoint set मैंने library की book में पढ़ा था. बस में travel करते हैं. बहुत time लगता था बस में travel करते हैं. So it's like, First of all, uh, जितना ज़्यादा आपको algorithm data structure या फिर techniques आएंगी problem solve करने के, उतने better chances हैं कि आप problem solve कर पाओ, ठीक है? And there are two things, problem solve करो तो ऐसे problem जो आपके comfort zone से थोड़े से बाहर हों, बहुत ज़्यादा बाहर, बहुत ज़्यादा बाहर हैं तो time बहुत ज़्यादा waste होगा, comfort zone के बाहर नहीं है तो कुछ नया नहीं सीख पाओगे, comfort zone से थोड़ा सा बाहर हो, जिसे देख जिस क्वेश्चन को देख के लग रहा है ये तो हो ही जाएगा बस कोड करना है लीव इट टाइम वेस्ट है एंड जस्ट लर्न न्यू थिंग्स देयर आर सो मेनी थिंग्स टू लर्न अभी भी मैं मुझे इतना कुछ आता है बट स्टिल मुझे लगता है कि बहुत सारी चीजें नहीं आती लाइक वेवलेट ट्री नहीं आती मुझे बहुत अच्छे नंबर थ्योरेटिक ट्रांसफॉर्म ट्रांसफॉर्म नहीं आता या yeah, NTT बिल्कुल नहीं आता फास्ट फॉरवर्ड ट्रांसफॉर्म थोड़ा सा आता है आई हैव सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ दैट एल्गोरिथम आल्सो बट अगर लाइव कांटेस्ट में आ जाएगा तो आई डोंट हैव 100% कॉन्फिडेंस कि सॉल्व कर ही दूंगा लाइक like, 50% नहीं है तो बहुत सारी चीजें हैं जो मुझे सीखना है बट अगर आप उस लेवल पे हो लाइक like, कि नोब लेवल से बाहर नहीं आ पा रहे हो तो फोकस ऑन लर्निंग न्यू थिंग्स अभी के लिए जस्ट BFS DFS नंबर थ्योरी बिट मैनिपुलेशन डिजॉइन सेट ठीक है कम से कम इन चारों में जो एल्गोरिथम है उनको कवर करो कवर करने का तरीका या तो सीपी एल्गोरिथम पे जाके देख लो वहां पे क्या लिस्ट है जस्ट गो थ्रू दैट लिस्ट वंस फॉर ऑल ऑफ दीस कांसेप्ट ठीक है और यू कैन गो थ्रू द कोर्स दैट आई हैव ऑलरेडी बिल्ड उसमें से जब वो डोंट हैव टू वॉच द होल वीडियो जस्ट लुक एट द टाइटल इफ यू थिंक कि ये चीज नहीं आती है जस्ट गो फॉर इट लर्न ठीक है सो अगेन नो लेवल पे हो तो फर्स्ट थिंग इज जस्ट गो एंड लर्न अभिषेक अभिषेक का क्वेश्चन है इस लीड कोड इनफ फॉर गूगल दैट डिपेंड्स उसी लीड कोड के साथ लेवल भी आता है ठीक है सो अगर आप अगर आप एसडी वन के लिए जा रहे हो इफ यू आर गोइंग फॉर एसडी वन इंटरव्यू ठीक है सो डीपी ग्राफ स्ट्रिंग एंड नंबर थ्योरी के मीडियम लेवल के क्वेश्चन यू शुड बी एबल टू सॉल्व फ्रॉम लीड को ठीक है, if you are able to solve DP graph theory, number theory and string algorithm problems medium level, if you are able to solve, yes, very high chances that you will be able to go through the interview process of uh, Google. Okay. Okay. Ayush Kumar, we have question from Ayush. Can my resume get selected if, if I have done a lot of DSA practice and CP but don't have projects because I do CP only day and night? Okay, Ayush, let me introduce myself. My name is Vakar Ahmed, aka Code and Code, and I have been for Safe Community Program. And I have got job. I was able to go through the Hack Within Free finals just because of, you know, Competitive programming. Just imagine 100 people selected out of 1.8 lakh participants all over India. I was one of them. How? Competitive programming. Okay, project mere utne nahi the. In fact, project mein maze ke liye karta tha. Android development karta tha. Main college ke time. Then uh, from Infosys, I got to Google again using competitive programming. So if you are doing competitive programming day and night, you are actually a very, you know, like the best candidate. I won't say the best, but you are a very good candidate for uh, for interview process of Google. ठीक है? Spandan, uh, please answer how you tackle non-classical DP problems. Driver's playlist is good, but it includes the most classical problem. Okay, Spandan, one question. I also have DP problems playlist. ठीक है? मेरे पास दो playlist है. Second one, I solve usually hard problems like rated 1800 and above do you think that is like 
क्लासिकल प्रॉब्लम्स आई मीन जस्ट जस्ट अ क्वेश्चन ठीक है आई कम बैक टू योर क्वेश्चन सुनील कुमार प्रॉबेबिलिटी नहीं आती तो सीपी होगा मुझसे एक्चुअली प्रॉबेबिलिटी के क्वेश्चंस आते हैं बट बहुत हाई लेवल पे आते हैं वो प्रॉबेबिलिटी में मैं भी बहुत ज्यादा अच्छा नहीं हूँ आई एम एबल टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम्स बट लाइक सेवेंटी परसेंट बाकी थर्टी परसेंट बहुत तगड़े लेवल के हैं अरे मैं प्रॉबिलिटी के क्वेश्चन अगर आप सीपी में देखोगे भी राइट right? अगर वो ए बी और सी में आए तो बहुत हलवा क्वेश्चन है राइट right? बहुत ही इजी बट अगर उसके ऊपर आ रहे हैं तो बहुत टफ क्वेश्चन होता है ठीक है वो लाइक यूर वो फिर रेटेड होंगे एटलीस्ट एटीन हंड्रेड उतना जाने की जरूरत नहीं है तो प्रॉबिलिटी नहीं आती दैट्स फाइन ठीक है प्रॉबिलिटी जस्ट अ पार्ट ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स जो हमारे पास ऑलरेडी इतना सारा है उसमें से इतना है प्रॉबिलिटी नहीं आती तो चलेगा ठीक है डोंट डोंट बी डिस्करेज बाई द फैक्ट दैट प्रॉबिलिटी नहीं आती मैं सीख रहा हूँ मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगती है मैथमेटिक्स बहुत ज्यादा नंबर थ्योरी मैथमेटिक्स जियोमेट्री एवरी थिंग लाइक एनीथिंग कनेक्टेड टू मैथमेटिक्स आई जस्ट लव इट राइट बट आई एम नॉट वेरी गुड विद इट लव इट मतलब अगर मुझे 20 घंटे बिताने होंगे कोई ये कॉन्सेप्ट पढ़ने के लिए मैं बिताऊंगा बिना परेशान दैट्स व्हाट इट मींस टू लव समथिंग ठीक है बट आई एम नॉट वेरी गुड विद इवन दो इट्स माय फेवरेट सो प्रोबेबिलिटी नहीं आती चलेगा इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी ठीक है क्योंकि ए बी सी और डी यूजली प्रॉबिलिटी क्वेश्चन नहीं हार्डली प्रॉबिलिटी क्वेश्चन यूजली डी पी चला जाता है या ग्राफेल ठीक hmm. है uh, कमलेश पाटिल सॉरी माय बैड कमलेश पटेल यू करंट टैक्स टैक्स इन गूगल ठीक है करंट टैक्स टैक्स सी प्लस प्लस एस क्यू एल सी प्लस प्लस एंड एस क्यू एल एंड अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ पाइथन ठीक है सो दैट्स माय टैक्स टैक गूगल में काम इंटरेस्टिंग है ऐसी बात नहीं है वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस यार उतना अच्छा नहीं है एज आई वाज एक्सपेक्टिंग क्या सुनील कुमार क्वेश्चन व्हाट वर यू डूइंग इन इंफोसिस एंड फॉर हाउ मेनी आवर्स तो घंटे के हिसाब से कौन कहता है क्या से सी इन इंफोसिस आई वाज पार्ट ऑफ एसटीजी एसटीजी आई मीन देयर आर डिफरेंट यूनिट्स ठीक है एंड एसटीजी इज अ वेरी प्रेस्टीजियस यूनिट बिकॉज़ आई वाज सिलेक्टेड थ्रू हैकाथन सो हमें हायर लेवल के काम दिए जाते हैं बिकॉज वी हैव प्रूवन आर सेल्फ टू बी अ बेटर प्रोग्रामर एंड प्रॉब्लम सॉल्वर सो उस लेवल के काम होते थे सो इन्फोसिस इज बिल्डिंग फर्स्ट प्रोडक्ट नेम्ड हीलिक्स सो आई वॉज पार्ट ऑफ इट एज यू ऑल नो किसिस इज अ सर्विस बेस्ड कंपनी बट इट्स ऑलरेडी इन इट्स फर्स्ट प्रोडक्ट इज ऑलरेडी इन अंडर प्रोडक्शन आई वॉज वर्किंग ऑन दैट हीलिक्स ठीक है हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस प्लेटफॉर्म दे आर बिल्डिंग सो आई वॉज वर्किंग ऑन दैट मैं टैक्स टैक्स आई वॉज बेसिकली बिल्डिंग अ I was working on backend, ठीक है? And वहाँ tech tech था Java Spring Boot and SQL again, PostgreSQL, right? And uh, how many hours since I was working from home and uh, the way we were working, right? It was not like strict कि हाँ nine to five करना ही करना नहीं आपको थोड़ा पहले छोड़ना है ठीक है चलेगा थोड़ा late join करना है चलेगा that's fine. तो थिंग इज कि हाँ काम कंप्लीट कर दो दे डोंट केयर अबाउट एनीथिंग एल्स मतलब जिस टीम में मैं काम कर रहा था सच ए गुड टीम श्रीधर एंड माय मैनेजर मनीष सच ए ग्रेट पीपल ठीक है तो इट्स नॉट लाइक कि हाँ इतने घंटे काम करना ही करना है नथिंग लाइक दैट बस दे केयर अबाउट वर्क कि हाँ आप काम कंप्लीट कर दे रहे हो उतना काफी उसके लिए अगेन ये कोई क्वेश्चन की सीपी करना जरूरी है देखो करना जरूरी नहीं है डायरेक्टली बट क्या होता है कि ज्यादातर कंपनीज में शुरू के दो तीन राउंड जो उनके इंटरव्यू के होते हैं प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग के होते हैं कॉम्पिटेटिव प्रोग्रामिंग करोगे तो यू विल बी वेरी गुड एट दैट ठीक है अदरवाइज जरूरत नहीं होती बट इनडायरेक्टली जरूरत पड़ जाती है ठीक है जल्दी जल्दी आंसर नहीं कर रहे अच्छा ठीक है मैं एक क्वेश्चन पूछ लेता हूँ जो जो देख रहा है ओके किस आई हैव सो मेनी कोर्सेज ठीक है तो कौन से कोर्स में इंप्रूवमेंट की जरूरत है जो आपको लगता है कि हाँ लेक्चर में ना थोड़ी सी इंप्रूवमेंट की जरूरत है अभी 
उसमें थोड़ी सी प्रॉब्लम है समझने में परेशानी होती है तो एक्सप्लेनेशन को थोड़ा सा सुधारा जा सकता है सो विच विच कोर्स डू यू थिंक इज लाइक दैट आई वेट फॉर लाइक टू मिनट्स ठीक है सेवन थर्टी नाइन सेवन फोर्टी वन पे रेज्यूम करें बोलते बोलते पानी पीना पड़ेगा मुझे ठीक है दिस टू मिनट्स सेवन थर्टी नाइन सो विच प्ले लिस्ट और कोर्स तुम्हें लगता है कि आई शुड इम्प्रूव इट क्योंकि एक्सप्लेनेशन उस लेवल की नहीं है एंड यू एक्सपेक्ट कि हाँ समझने में प्रॉब्लम होती है तो मुझे उस पर थोड़ा सा काम करना चाहिए एनहेंस करना चाहिए लाइक इस कोर्स का वर्जन टू आना चाहिए ओके लाइनस के अकॉर्डिंग बिट मैनिपुलेशन में क्वेश्चन ज्यादा होने चाहिए ठीक है आई एड मुझे कुछ क्वेश्चंस दिखे हैं हैकर पे जो बहुत अच्छी क्वालिटी के हैं तो मैं कोशिश करूंगा उन क्वेश्चंस को ऐड करने की कोई और इसको इंटरेक्टिव बनाते ना आप लोग क्वेश्चन पूछ रहे मैं आंसर कर रहा हूँ मैं क्वेश्चन पूछ रहा हूँ ताकि मुझे पता चले लाइक यू पीपल आर लाइक द ग्रेट रिव्यूअर्स ऑफ द लेक्चर लाइक है सो आप लोग बोलोगे नहीं तो मुझे पता नहीं चलेगा कि इंप्रूव कहाँ करना है जहां तक मैं समझता हूँ मैं बता देता हूँ मुझे कहाँ लगता है मुझे लगता है कि वेन आई वॉज एक्सप्लेनिंग आर्टिकुलेशन पॉइंट एंड ब्रिजेस वो समझाते वक्त मैंने यूज किया था डी एफ एस ट्री का बैक एजेस डी एफ एस ट्री का डी एफ एस ट्री को मुझे और अच्छे से समझाना चाहिए क्योंकि डी एफ एस ट्री एक बार आपको अच्छे से समझ में आ गया तो बहुत सारे ग्राफ एलोवर में बहुत बहुत जल्दी समझ में आ जाता है लाइक आर्टिकुलेशन पॉइंट एंड ब्रिजेस तो हो ही गया उसके अलावा आगे बहुत सारे एल्गोरिजम्स हैं जहाँ पे ये डी एफ एस ट्री का कॉन्सेप्ट यूज होता है तो मुझे लगता है कि डी एफ एस ट्री पे मुझे एक बार दोबारा वर्क करना चाहिए एंड उस लेक्चर को एनहेंस करना चाहिए एंड अलॉन्ग विद दैट सेंट्रल डिकम्पोजिशन अच्छा लेक्चर था बट बहुत बड़ा हो गया ठीक है तो उसे और इम्प्रूव किया जा सकता है दैट्स वॉट आई थिंक एंड वट पीपल थिंक एस एस सी एंड कोसराजूज एल्गोरिज्म फ्रॉम ग्राफ एल्गोरिज्म ठीक है अकॉर्डिंग टू आई आई गेस या हो सकता है DP with bit masking. Bit masking, I think अभी explain ही नहीं किया उसको I, uh, वो lecture, I think I have to build a whole course around that. अभी उसको शुरू करेंगे DP part टू में आई गेस मैंने कुछ कुछ शुरू करने की कोशिश करी थी ना बट उसे एंड तक लेके नहीं गया था आई डेंड इट आई डेंट कंप्लीट इट आई शुड से आई डेंट डू दैट सो आई नीड टू डू दैट सो डी पी विद बिट मास्किंग आई नीड टू एड एक्चुअली Linus code, your channel is called. <laughs> Thank you, Linus. Uh, okay, Rahul again. Uh, SCC, that means strongly connected component, and Kosaraj's algorithm were in graph theory part one, but I think they should have been in part two. Makes sense, I guess. Uh, yeah, we can move. It's not that big of a problem, but I think we can move. Actually, uh, SCC ko maine thoda late rakha hai graph theory part one mein ki. अगर नहीं भी आता लाइक सॉरी इवन इफ दिस ग्राफ थ्योरी पार्ट वन वो सारे एल्गोरिथम पढ़ते पढ़ते आपका लेवल इतना हो जाता है कि जब आप एस तक पहुंचते हो तो यू ऑलरेडी अंडरस्टैंड दैट बट ठीक है मुझे पॉइंट समझ में आ रहा है व्हाई इट शुड बी इन ग्राफ थ्योरी पार्ट टू बिकॉज बिकॉज इट्स ऑफ अ बिट हायर लेवल सो मेक सेंस ठीक है समझ में आ रहा है Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Akshat says is CSCS sheet is uh, good to start learning DP. Start learning to nahi kahunga main, but CSCS is a very good resource for problem solving. Very good resource. Like each problem targets a specific algorithm or a data structure, right? So CSCS, yes. Thanks for bringing up. Uh, thanks for bringing it up, Akshat. This is a very good resource. Okay. प्रैक्टिस प्रॉब्लम अगर करना है गो टू सी एस सी एस नाउ टू आंसर योर क्वेश्चन आई डोंट थिंक कि सी एस सी एस शीट इज एक्चुअली गुड फॉर डीपी फॉर लर्निंग डीपी फॉर बिगिनर्स आई डोंट थिंक सो प्रॉब्लम इज कि सी एस सी एस बहुत तेजी में मूव करता है एक क्वेश्चन सॉल्व किया आपने लेवल बढ़ा देता है फिर वो सॉल्व किया फिर लेवल बढ़ा वेन यू आर अ बिगिनर यू नीड टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम यू नीड टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम विच इंक्रीज लेवल इंक्रीज ग्रेजुअली ठीक है अंधाधुन जो बढ़े नो कान डू दैट यू कान डू दैट एज अ बिगिनर सो अनफॉर्चुनेटली सी एस सी एस यस इज अ वेरी गुड रिसोर्स फॉर प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग एंड लर्निंग न्यू टेक्निक्स और एल्गोरिदम्स और देयर इम्प्लीमेंटेशन वेरी गुड रिसोर्स बट नॉट बिगिनर फ्रेंडली नॉट बिगिनर फ्रेंडली इफ यू आर लर्निंग डीपी ठीक है डीपी के लिए कुछ सर्च सम अदर रिसोर्स 
जिस एग्जॉस्ट एवरी थिंग दैट आई टॉट इन दी प्ले लिस्ट डीपी पार्ट वन या फिर कहीं और से पढ़ना है तो यू हैव टू डू मल्टीपल गूगल गूगल क्वेरीज राइट क्योंकि होता क्या है कि आई डोंट थिंक वी हैव एनी रिसोर्सेज जहां पे सारे चीजें एक साथ लेवल वाइज मैंशन किया आई डोंट थिंक वी हैव दैट सो यू हैव टू गो थ्रू मल्टीपल गूगल रिसर्च और यू कैन जस्ट गो थ्रू दी प्ले लिस्ट दैट आई हैव I think I also mentioned resources uh, from where I have taken those problem or yeah, article, so you can go through that also. <laughs> Sunil says, please try to upload more playlists as other YouTubers are making three LP to fifty LP videos and they're not making good study content. See, that's the thing. Why I have so see. It took me like five years to go to fifty thousand subscribers. Like last time, my first video channel was which, which uh, YouTube terminated. It took me five years. Why? Because I don't videos. I don't. I, I don't make videos like how I crack Google. How, how I went Google from Infosys. There was nothing. I. 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 I.
Burisa, is it worth to continue doing competitive programming after college? After college, I'm assuming you are doing some job. Okay. So if you are doing some job, that depends. How do you define the worth of it? For me, it's it's like a sport and it helped me. For me, it's a sport. So I enjoy doing, doing this. And uh, for me, it's totally worth it because abhi bhi I'm learning something new. Okay. So that's why it's, it's worth it. You need to ask yourself, is it worth it? See, if your problem solving skills, you have already gone to certain level ki aapko pata hai ki, uh, if I'm going to uh, I'm going in interview of this company or that company if they are going to ask uh, DSA questions I'll be able to solve them and that's your only uh, goal which is which is fine so you don't need to continue because you are already on that level ki koi bhi question pucha jayega, you'll be able to answer that okay? if you love it like I do if you feel you you feel you know excited uh, participating in contests, you should do that. Yeah, just take some time because you learn new things. You learn new way to approach things. You learn new way to see things, right? So this will for sure help. <laughs> Linus, government job for job security. Ah, job security. Abhi hamare saath bhi hota, like Google fired like 20, 12,000 employees. And we were also like, uh, ki pata nahi rahenge ya nahi rahenge. So, pressure we were also like uh, government job hoti hoti, attention <laughs> okay. okay we only have 10 minutes we have 10 minutes okay so i think abhi hiring nahi ho rahi rohan asks is google hiring fresh graduates currently hiring zyada tar places pe ruki hui hai. there are so many teams which are not hiring right because we because of course companies are firing employees uh, and i think meta is called is supposed to go to the through the second round of uh, layoff so most of the teams don't need it they they they, they don't want but huh, like there are some teams to expand career because they have shown some positive signs they have they have brought uh, profits to the company. So, kuch kuch, kuch kuch teams hai which are expanding, so they need. But more for most of the uh, uh, for most of the teams, it's like in frozen state. Okay, yeah. so not much of uh, high going on there. Hmm. Okay, Manav, yeah, please make a video on topics to learn along with sequences in CP, along with resources and practice questions. I think this this is a good, uh, this will be a good way to make it. Like, okay, what are the concepts that you need to learn? What should be their sequence? It's more hard time like that, you know? There are so many, there, there are so many concepts of different, different categories, like, Greedy DP, uh, graph, string, number theory, uh, and then DSM, segmentary, and all. So, sorry for that. So, there's so many things. It will take me a lot of time to, you know, compile the whole list. Ki ha, ye level one algorithms hai, or data structure or techniques, ye level two hai, and these are level three. So, go from level one, level two, level three. Level one resources are these, level two resources are these. So, I need to compile them. There's so many algorithms and data structure and techniques there so many lectures things that you need to learn that it will take a lot of time but yes i think uh, yeah i i think i should do that because i see so many people struggling that kahan se start kare, how how uh, and if they start they're like Ab kahan hai? like i have learned this i have learned that what is the next step so i have seen so many students struggling with that ki what should be the sequence how they should learn and the good resources I think I can do that. Sure, I'll do that. Uh, okay, yeah. So, Manav, yes, I'll, I'll do that. Thought of time, but I'll do that. Okay. Aditya Gaur, Makar Bhai, contest, okay, kya? Yeah, I, I think we have a contest on Code Forces, right? Let me just check. Code Forces. 
Yeah, it's going to start in 11 minutes. We need to end this. Uh, most likely, yes. <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mohammed Imtiaz says, so please make a playlist on interactive problems. Yes, I don't have playlist on that. And in interactive problems, yeah, <clears throat> I do think are very interesting problems. Uh, I was able to solve one problem using binary search, and I was so happy for that. I think this was on Code Forces Long Challenge, but I was able to solve an interactive problem using binary search. I was so happy. I'll, I'll search that problem and I'll make an editorial for that. I think we can't do that, or we can do that because now Code Code Chef is under an academy, and they usually you know take down the videos. I'm not hundred percent sure, but I'll, I'll I'll see if I can do that. Okay, so all, all already like. 7.55, we have only five minutes. We won't take much now, any questions. We'll have one more session, okay? Like I'm planning to do like two sessions in a month. Because here are questions come out there. But for like two, three months, let's keep it two sessions a month, okay? Then I'll be able to answer all the questions. Abhi are questions I can see that uh, uh, and there are, and I won't be able to answer like this almost the time. So we'll we'll have like two sessions each month. So you can join and I'll ask your question there. Later we'll reduce it to one only. <clears throat> Nikunj asks, is CP worth my whole existence? Like my complete, you know. Career depends on CP. That's how I'm able to, that's how I'm sitting in Google because of CP. Yes, it is very worth and you'll be actually surprised to see the uh, benefits of CP. Believe me, it's not like necessary, but highly recommend you to do that. <clears throat> what is my code forces? It's Kazama 460, K-A-Z-A-M-A 460. Uh, Jatin asks, sir, I'm not able to do graph questions. How to improve? Most of the graph that depends. Uh, to answer, this is very, uh, Jatin, this is very like generic question. To answer it deeply or to more accurately, I need, it, I need other details like what level of questions you are not able to solve. Like, is it D, E problem? Yeah, fair, you are not able to solve B and B, oh, sorry, C and D problem itself. So usually C and D problem you'll be able to solve if you learn only the basic algorithms like DFS, BFS, uh, strongly connected component. These algorithms, if you know, mostly, mostly uh, C and D problems, if they are from graph algorithm, they revolve around these. So if you learn these and different uh, ways you can solve problem using these, you should be able to. So if you want to improve in graph algorithm, just learn these algorithms, right? Uh, BFS, DFS, shortest path algorithms, strongly connected component, uh, connected component. Um, and there is a sorting, bad at remembering names. Uh, there is a sorting also in the graph. So learn all these techniques and then solve problem. When you are going to solve problems, solve from CSCS because they have very good set of problems that you'll be able to uh, solve and learn something new from it. Okay. Okay, we got only three minutes. Thanks for all of you for joining. And I see you have so many questions. Even now I see there's huh, topological sorting. That is what I was forget forgetting. Uh, topological sorting also in graph algorithm. So yes, I think it's very tough. In the graph, the top thing that comes is central decomposition and heavy light decomposition. Even central decomposition, I don't think that is it is that hard. The problem that you are able to solve using central decomposition and heavy light decomposition are so good, like beyond 2000 rating, but it's not hard. Take it. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Centroid is not that hard. Heavy light decomposition is hard. But these algorithms like BFS, DFS, uh, SCC, uh, connected component, topological sorting, these are not hard. So learn these. Yes. It may feel like on your level that this is hard. So don't take so much pressure on yourself. Forget everything, just take one algorithm in a week. Ki is my is hafte mujhe DFS partner hai achhe se. Along with DFS, I will learn DFS uh, to the core. Ki haan, sab kuch aata hai mujhe DFS mein. And then I'll solve at least five to eight problems of different 
डिफिकल्टी लेवल टू इजी थ्री मीडियम थ्री हार्ड ठीक है एटलीस्ट दीज मैनी प्रॉब्लम right just be confident about dfs and bfs there are so many problems you can solve using these only so yeah okay ab hum baad mein baat karenge it's almost like a theek hai let's have another session dobara session rakh lenge no issues and i'll answer again all of your questions so don't worry we have only we had only one hour and there are so many pending bus kal monday bhi hai office jaan mein ah it just office ab tension de deta hai when i was in infosys i know faced that but again we we are being presented with challenges we will accept those and of course conquer those so with this again it was a great session thank all of you for joining in asking so many questions so that i can improve myself right so there are so many things so many things that i have learned that i need to do there are so many action items for me to do so i have noted down all of them sab yahan hai and i will remember that theek hai i will improve on that and as always for you the suggestion is keep coding and keep learning new things theek hai so let's meet again next session maybe after two weeks again i'll have another session you can ask question there if there are some questions remaining theek hai and jo kaam mujhe mila hai abhi i'll work on that So yeah, thanks all of you for joining, and see you all in the next lecture. Tada.